right, record this! <laughs> Your channel's about to be burned! No! Prepare to be arrested, because that's not just illegal in real life, but according to Mojang's terms and conditions, it's illegal in Minecraft too, and I have you on video! No, no, wait, no, delete that! I broke the law. So now, for the next 100 days, I need a squeaky clean record, or my friend Ethan will report me to the police. On day one, I was unbanned from Minecraft. But unfortunately, Ethan was watching my every move. If even the tiniest law is broken, Mr. EY Stream, you are going to real life prison. I'm always watching, Wazowski. Always watching. Always watching. Bro, I didn't know the law. All right, I'm just gonna have to Google everything. Okay, but I do know that I probably can't kill mobs because I'll need a hunting license. Can't go mining because I need a miner's permit. Can I? Dig up a tree? How do- Can you chop down a tree? I don't know what the law is! Fines for cutting down a tree without permit! Wait, permits can be attained by approval of a local council or government body. The pillagers. You know what? That seems like local council. Knock, knock. Anybody home? Hey, mate! You reckon I could get your permission just to dig up some trees around here? Ow! What the flip, bro? That's illegal! Alright, I have freedom of speech as per Article 19 of the law. Ethan, you are not a pillager. Uh, what uh, do you want? Uh, be careful what you say. These poor men are simply stopping you from trespassing on their property. According to the law, they can use reasonable force to remove you. I think shooting you is pretty reasonable. Reasonable! Turns out, the only legal way to get wood was to loot abandoned structures that don't have heritage listing. So, temples were a no. But mineshaft and shipwrecks were fair game. Bro, it's been six days and John still has a perfect record. I need to bait him into committing a crime to show his true criminal nature. Yo, another shipwreck, bro. We about to be looted up. Check out this pit, man. Uh, hello, what my the? friend. How Ethan, are you doing? I haven't broken any laws whatsoever, bro. I'm, I'm literally legal. I think things can change, you know. Just uh, hold this for me real quick. Just uh, take what that. The? I don't have inventory room. I do oh, not have oh, inventory yes, room. Yes, yes, you've done it. Jordan, what? I got you. You are literally littering in the ocean, dude. That's an illegal action. No, 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 no. Wait, I'm checking Google. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Uh, um, uh, um. It says here that it it's only littering if it's 200 miles within a coast. And uh, I'm not seeing no coast. This is international waters, baby. Bro, how is that a law? Now, I needed a place to live. But it can't just be anywhere. Legally, the area has to have existing residential zoning laws. All right, all right. This looks like residential zoning to me, but we still need to be careful. I can't steal stuff from the houses because that would be theft. I can't go in them. That would be trespass. However, I should be able to build my house just right here. At least that's what Ethan wants me to think. We are checking the law. I need a permit. Are you sick? We need a permit? <sighs> I did it. And only for eight meters. According to the official Mojang guide, one block in Minecraft is one meter wide. So I can only build in this eight by eight area, which led to some very close calls. All right, we're just gonna connect that frame up and, oh my God, I literally almost clicked my mouse. I would have gone out of the eight by eight. Holy, I almost did illegal. Okay, no, the pillar is going up here. Two floors done, moving on to the third. Now, I'm thinking the third should be a little bit different. You know what? We can't go out of this small space, but we can go up to the sky, baby. <laughs> Do my eyes deceive me, or are you building yourself a third floor? You uh, need a townhouse permit for that. I'm not building a third floor. What makes it think that? I, I am well aware of the laws. <laughs> I'm simply building a rooftop garden, which is allowed within my housing permit laws. Okay, uh. buddy, you win this time, but I'm watching you. Finally, my first legal Minecraft house was complete. Welcome to my crib. Raid? No, no, no. What is this random raid? I didn't even have bad omen effects. Are you serious? I'm... No, I can't do this. Okay, I need to make weapons. Wait, can I make weapons? What is the law? The law of armed conflict. I can't have swords, daggers, missiles, double blades, grenades, guns, any weapon under the arms act. Okay, wait, I can have a protective vest. I can have a protective vest. That's all I'm allowed. I'm not even allowed a full set of armor. Okay, iron chest plate. That's what I have to do. I'm going into war with a stick and an iron chest plate. Let's go. Yeah! I'm, oh, three hearts. I can't survive this. Government, where is it? They're supposed to be protecting me. Government, Ethan, where are you? Get back here. The government is right thank you, here. Thank you, thank you. Please fear. save me. I'm introducing the conscription law, which requires all men above the age of 18 to be drafted into the military at a time of war. And, well, it's a time of war. That's not helping. I am the only army here. These guys suck. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm in, I'm in the fight. I'm, I'm in the war. 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 I'm... What are you... 
What are you- what are you doing? Are you- are you disobeying government law? You're hiding! Uh, no, no! I'm not! This is my tactical plan to take out the pillagers. I can't argue with military strategy as long as you're not breaking the law. We're all good! Hold up, but how long am I gonna be here? I literally have to just wait for the iron golem to beat them. Surviving the next few days was so boring. I couldn't do anything! Especially with Ethan around. Bro, there's no way! He's literally just hiding in this hole for days on end, not breaking any laws either. What can I do? Big brain moment. What if I annoy him so much that he threatens me? That would be threatening a parole officer, which is very illegal. Oh no, Jordan! Enemy fire! What? Enemy fire! Uh, They're blowing up your roof, Jordan! Wait. Oh no! It wasn't me, What's that I sound? swear! Did you just blow up my house, bro? What the No, it wasn't me, it was it wasn't me, it was the pillagers! Pillagers don't shoot TNT! <laughs> Ethan stretched out the war as long as possible before he finally got bored declared victory. I'm a hero! Everything's back to normal! Yeah, woo! What? Nothing is normal! But that's fine, you know what? I'll just, I can rebuild! We can rebuild! It's okay. Um, actually, no, you can't, because after a war time, the government can legally freeze all permits, and well, we just had a war, and I'm the government, so that's what I'm gonna do. Great, I'm homeless again, that's fine, I'll just take my stuff and I'll go! I'll go. Fine, I didn't want to live here anyway. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm literally about to starve to death in the desert. I couldn't find any structures for food. I've used up all my supplies and I can't kill anything because I don't have a hunter's license. Not that there's any mobs out here anyway other than the fish. Wait, I go fishing with my dad and that's legal. Can I, can I eat that fish? I can keep a salmon that is longer than 25 centimeters. Yes, we finally have food. I was back on track to living my legal life until Ethan happened. I'm a nomad now. I go fishing, I eat my fish, I explore rare biomes like this mesa. This is what life's about. Ha <laughs> I've what now? you What now? Is walking illegal? Is a crime? Is walking's a crime? Oh, no, no, no. Walking's not illegal, Jordan. But walking in an endangered region Wh is illegal. And, well, this biome is rare. So, Jordan, I'm sorry to say, you are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. I'm too young for prison. I'm, I'm, I'm allowed to explore any part. As long as it does not explicitly state it's endangered and protected. And um, where's the sign that says endangered and protected, Ethan? Where is it? Yeah, I cannot be his puppet any longer. I'm sick of this, all right? We're gonna trick Ethan into breaking the law. <laughs> all I needed was a new home. All I have to do is pretend that I'm actually committing a crime. What the? Is setting your house on fire legal? No, it's not legal. You can't set your house on fire. Hang on. There he is. Come on, Ethan, just walk into my house. I, I want you here, bro. Yeah, we're like brothers. Yep, yeah, in you I go. I caught you in the... What the? The Call me in what act, Ethan? Because you're in uh, my house without asking, which I bought a permit for this place, which means you're trespassing. Uh, I'm gonna have to arrest you, bro. I have a search warrant. Um, yes. Uh, Where did you get a search uh, warrant for? There you go. What? There's a search warrant. See, if I have a search warrant, it clearly says right there, location EY Streams house. You just walked in here, bro. Oh my god. You know, the government system is corrupt. Get out of here. Get out. <laughs> I am the law. Potatoes, my master plan. <laughs> According to Section 22 of the Marketing Potato Act from 1946 in Australia, no person can hold more than 50 kilograms of potatoes. One potato in Minecraft is a single kilogram. I'm currently holding 47. Soon Ethan is going to be holding 50. <laughs> what do you want, huh? I'm here. What do you want? I'm going to pay my monthly taxes in the form of potatoes because it counts as an asset and I'm legally allowed to do this as per income tax law. So there's 47. Oh wait, I think I just need to get a couple more for you. All right, ready? And the uh -huh, bro, we don't want your filthy potatoes. What? The government wants the diamonds, bro. I am able to, yes, it says right here, refuse any tax paid in the form of assets if I see it as Inad in inadmissible. Yes, that word. Oh Keep your filthy potatoes. I'm out of Oh my gosh, I was so close. Baiting Ethan was impossible. I needed a professional lawyer. So I hired one and she found the perfect loophole. Ethan was done for. Check this out. We're on the official government website for Victoria, Australia, which is where I live. And this is the important part. Parole officers are not allowed to watch suspects for more than three months without a new sentence. If I just survive not breaking the law for a few more days, Ethan will be the one breaking the law. But Ethan did not make surviving the next few days easy at all. But it was all worth it. Bro, it's almost the last day. I can't let this fool get away. Okay, I need to arrest this man and take over his channel. This is it. The final day. I just gotta survive. 
Make sure Ethan doesn't try and kill me or bait me into breaking any laws and we are done. I can search up the stupidest Australian laws ever and bait Jordan into falling for that. He's never going to suspect the thing. A person cannot wear pink pants after midday. I've hit the lottery. Can I get it? Because... Since technically you have not been wearing pants this whole time, that is borderline nudism and it, well, it is public indecency. I'm going to let it slide because I'm just so nice, but uh, I thought I'd give you these uh, pink pants just to, just to help you out. i got some pants ready for you. Uh-huh. And why exactly are you helping me all of a sudden when you've been trying to get me to break the law unless... This is going to break the law, but you know what? It's fun. I'm a free man today. All right, pink pants. I'm a female. <laughs> yes! Let's go. I've done it. You're under arrest, John, because you're wearing the pink pants. Actually, <laughs> as per uh, the law, the person cannot wear pink pants. Uh, when cannot the wear pink pants after midday on a Sunday, and today Whatever. is a Friday. And thanks to my lawyer, if you can't prove otherwise, I'm not legally obliged to anything. What do you mean, your lawyer? There's there's no way. How did you know that? So you've been following me for 100 days. But you see, as a parole officer, you can only follow me for three months, which is 90 days. Which means you've now committed a felony against the government. No, no, I haven't. Uh, th th there's no proof. You have no proof of this. I didn't follow you. Except I was recording this entire time. And if you don't surrender right now, I'm uploading this video to YouTube. No, I'm going to take my chances. They'll never catch me alive. I am the law. You can't catch me. I'm out of here.